She is one of Western New York's busiest and most talented actresses. But Mary Kate O'Connell took some time to talk with Mike Randall about her new theater, her new show, and a big anniversary. There's lots to celebrate for O'Connell and Company and the woman who started it 25 years ago. Well, you last long enough and they give you a trophy. Awards aside, Mary Kate O'Connell's plan was to provide crowd-pleasing shows at a reasonable price. I believe we've succeeded and 25 years later, that's those are still my simple mission points. Maybe you've seen her in one of the dozens of roles she's played over the years. The first time I played uh, Mother Superior in Nonsense, which was in 1990. Or on screen in one of those locally produced Christmas movies. It's a joy. It really is. And it's a new experience. It's a new medium for me. She just played Ben Franklin in the company's all-female version of 1776. We weren't trying to act like men in history, we were representing the characters and the words and their mission. Her Diva by Diva performances have raised thousands of dollars for local women and children's charities. So Diva is really a collection of uh, quotes and stories and songs by, for, and about women. Mary Kate seems most at home on stage and getting ready for her next role. This is her jewelry that I'm laying out for each each scene. She'll star in Glorious, the true story of Florence Foster Jenkins, the worst singer in the world. These are Florence Foster Jenkins' wings, which she wears in her Carnegie Hall performance. The theater company has just moved into its new home at the Kenton Elmwood Commons. You know, you hear about theaters that every seat is good. Every seat is good. Yeah. No pillars. And this might be my first theater without pillars. Rosie. Mary Kate's four-legged companion approves of the new digs. She really is her own girl. The show opens February 6th. Mary Kate O'Connell and Rosie would love for you to visit their new home and help them celebrate 25 fabulous years. I'm so blessed to be able to do what I love doing. Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.